All right, what is going on, everyone? Welcome back to more Black Desert. Oh, so we've been uh, actually pretty busy the past few days. A lot of stuff to do, as you guys have seen on the channel. We've been doing a lot of Genshin. I swear, like, all these games, they come out with expansions and stuff and new content all on the same day. And it's like, I wish I had more time. But anyway, we are back with more Black Desert. I've been on every day, and we've been collecting a lot of goodies. Um, yeah, we got a lot of scrolls to run today, and that's what we're going to be doing, clearing out some of our scrolls. So, hopefully we get some good stuff. Um, let's see. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying everything on the channel lately. Um, I'm trying to do a mix of a lot of stuff, so... There's like some sort of balance in whatever we're, we're doing. So let's see, what are we doing? First of all, we gotta go Cavalli. Uh, let's see, what kind of rift bosses do we have today? Cavalli, Guard Tower, Dim Tree, Griffin. We also have. Six of these boxes, apparently. I'm not really sure what I got. I wasn't paying attention. Wait, hold up. What is the thing to turn off like the person has in enhanced something successfully? I don't want to see that. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> okay. Um... Got a memfrag, spirit dust. Wait, what did I get last time? Hold on. Oh, was it like a sharp or something? Because you cheer for those, apparently. All right. 16 boxes, gotta get those as well. I saved all of this because I wanted to open it on recording, the usual. Let's see, do we get anything good today? Gonna be honest, we got three cron stones. I wasn't even sure what that box was. Maybe one day we'll get something good out of those boxes. Moment of truth. Can we get, like, a distortion earring? You know what's funny? If you look at this list in order, usually it would show you the stuff that's the most valuable at the top and then kind of trash at the bottom. Honestly, some of the low tier stuff, like the hards and sharps, are pretty good. Uh, but they apparently value the swaying wind shards and stuff higher than hards and sharps and then they also value distortion earrings lower than the other ones all right well let's uh start with the scrolls today uh what do we actually want to do oh dude we got seven of these we should probably get this Kabali one out of the way, because um, that one's been level one for a while. And the ones that give the spirit dust are pretty important, actually. So I'm not really sure what's new. I kind of skimmed the patch notes. Oh yeah, there's an invitation from thingy that I should probably do. I know it's like last week, but I just forgot to do it. So we might actually go do that one first. And then we'll see what, what it's all about. But I know there's an Adaraxian like group dungeon. And that seems pretty cool. I want to try it. 
but like half of my guild right now is uh playing other games just like me Gosh, even at level one, the boss is kind of Do I have gear on? Oh, I do have gear on. It is just tanky. Also, for that one person who is like, why do I have a pen doover? No, I actually use it in PvP sometimes. Also, it has my name on it, so I'm not just gonna sell it. This level one is still tanky. I don't know how I got hit. Let's go do this one just because it's new. This is like the start of something. Oh yeah, I know a few weeks ago they added something for our rift bosses, or not rift bosses, uh, scroll bosses, where it's like if you have 10 awakening scrolls, it turns into something different. So you might actually do that at some point. Investigate the location. Oh, uh, okay. Hey, you guys remember the cursed Netflix collaboration they did back in August? Yeah, there's a quest down here. That was like the first time I think I've ever done anything in this specific area.
Why did you need me to destroy it? You're literally right there. Well, this one is the, the really only choice you should pick. These two are just like, whatever. This is the valuable one. A savage draft? Uh, no, you, you take the frenzy if you do anything. Um, let me see. Seven left would see. So those are the rewards. Oh no! Investigate the box of junk. Why do I have to do that? You're like right there, dude. Pretty sure the best one is the perfume. Like, this one is irrelevant. Perfume is very good. This one, uh, I don't know. This one is also pretty good. Elixir of Deep Sea. That one's very good. So is perfume. I think I'm gonna take the Deep Sea Elixir. Ask about Lezra at the entrance of the Hazra ancient ruins. Okay. I do want that spirit claw thingy. Those are... They're not really, like... Super important. It's just... The uses of it are... Pretty nice. It's, um... For two things, you could put a crystal in your, like, pearl outfit costume, or you can use it to get into the Hazra, like, under, uh, what is it, Elkar zone? I don't remember what it's called, but it's the place where you get Elkar crystals. I actually hated grinding there so much. It's like, it just felt so slow and boring. I'd read it's kind of like if you ever grinded the 280 underwater spot, which used to be the scary spot, but now it's just like everyone can do it kind of thing. I've done an hour there. You can see watch videos of it. It's like a normal now. It's still harder than Hadoom, but not really. Beat the ancient weapons blocking the way. Okay. Oh no, it's like doing your awakening quest all over again. Why would you do that? No one likes doing that. Oh, I thought I got something good for a second.
got a rarity box. How many does it give you? Good ten. Yeah, it's like two Capra stones. I'll take it. I'm still really amazed, though. Like, the fact that I haven't gathered in, like, a year and I still can hold an icon is pretty outstanding. That's how dead life skilling is right now. Look deep within the ruins. When they say deep within the ruins, I hope they don't mean go to the underwater. Or not underwater, like the... Like Elkar zone. No, you wouldn't go this way for Elkar. Unless they're like trying to teach people this exists even though it's been out for like two years. Uh oh. Little concerned now. Uh oh. It might actually be. So basically, I, I assume this quest was teaching you how to go to the underground area. Uh, basically, this takes you to a place where you find these things, but stronger to like, what, 220 AP. And your ticket reward items are like Tungrad earrings and the Elkar crystal, which I've used Elkar crystals in your main hand. So... Or that could have something to do with um, this area or the Ataraxian thing, which either way. I gotta do that at some point. Maybe I'll just ask my guild and then we'll make some videos of it. I heard it was like it was not a joke. Even people with like 270 plus AP struggled a little bit. But I'm sure with enough potions you'll be fine or an infinite potion. Alright, cool. That was a interesting mini quest. Um, oh my god, that's a 48 quest line for a co-op dungeon. And it only gives you a 20 mil reward? What in the world? Bruh. Come on, bruh. You really... Let's go do these before I forget. I do need more memfrags. If 
they're co-op quests, I assume that um, they'll be difficult. But, I mean, I'll try to do as much as I can solo. If I really need help, I'll just ask for help. I'm sure it'll be fine. See how fast we could do seven scrolls. Oh, I got one here. Do you have any more? It's gonna take longer to summon these scrolls than to kill them. Maybe we'll get a fine accessory box out of this. I haven't really looked what are attendance awards this month. Special one? Oh no, wait, that's uh two months ago. Uh nothing really exciting that stands out this month, to be honest. This one is whatever. That would be a nice quality of life if they made this spawn circle bigger. And not had uh, invincibility framed as like six seconds. I do want to see, maybe in the next episode, what we'll do is, um, since we have a lot of the 
Awakened Scrolls and Kama Sylvia. We'll try to combine them with 10 of them and see what we can get out of it. start with 16. I don't know how many we started with, but we got some from the box that we opened in the beginning, and a few more. Alright, 35. Well, let's do this. Dude, that's a lot of mem frags, but we didn't get any. Um... Fine accessory boxes, but that's okay. Did I just get. What in the world? One day we'll do some enhancing. I'm not really sure what we want to do. But one day... I had this idea. But it might be a little bit stupid. Eventually, I do want to go for a pen mono scattered clothes. Realistically, it would probably be smarter to just buy a pen. Because uh, enhancing monos things is not exactly the cheapest, safest things to do. I do like how it has a flat percent where you don't use fail stacks, you just click it, it either goes or it doesn't. <laughs> Without having to worry about percent numbers. And it just gives flat percents. So I do like that. But going from tet to pen, Manos gathering clothes is like some like five or six percent, I think. Just straight up. So, if I'm going to do that, I want to have enough materials to make sure I can get it back to 10, at least. And, um, there's no guarantee of that one, because that one's also like a 15% as well. From try to 10 is, I'm pretty sure, 15%. And even from Pry to Duo and Duo to Try, there's some sketch percents of that I've ever enhanced Mono's clothes before. So realistically, is it cheaper to just buy it? Yes. Should I do that? Yes. Also, they have this. I swear they made the text bigger and I don't like it. I wish you could just you know, move the text. <laughs> if uh, flashing, like, Animated object down there doesn't tell you that you have a rift boss. And you still don't notice it. I think that's on you. I don't think I need the large text to tell me. You have better gear and then rift bosses. What better gear do I have? Do they really, like... Does it really just go off of AP? Is it telling me I have a better gear because I have a pen Noover instead of my Kudum? Yikes, dude. No, I don't want it. I don't care. Can you just hide that notification? Can you just delete it out of the game?
one thing I might do is since I do have a Spectre's Energy that we got from uh, the season, it's one of those rewards that you just use to turn in. Um, so I might use a Spectre's Energy and make another Black Star. Please, anything but a tongue grad earring. Ogre or Layton? Just no tongue grad earring. That's fine with me. How much are ogres going for? 6 feet 8. I'm good. I think I'll hold it until it goes to like 80 again. Uh, let's just go do Ruins Guard. We'll save the other ones for another day. What was that quest line we did today? Uh, invitation from one? I? Five person co-op. Yeah, we'll start this quest, maybe quest chain next time. But if it really is a five person, like, well, I know the dungeon is five person, but to do the quest, I wonder if that's soloable. Also, I heard some of you guys uh, left in the comments from older videos that you guys have hit a uh, tier 9 or tier 10, so congrats to you all. Hope you enjoyed it. I remember when I first went for a tier 9 horse, it was, this was before Doom even came out. I did, okay, so it was Pegasus and Unicorn. I actually wanted the Unicorn more, mostly because um, I was still low geared ish, and the two best grind spots at the time were Achman and Histria, and so that meant I was in, out in the desert quite a lot, right? And so I wanted the unicorn so I didn't have to go back and forth like on a slow horse. But the two tier nines I've gotten obviously were both uh, Pegasus, and at first I was kind of upset that I got it. It's like, oh no. I wasn't really upset. I actually was really just happy I got a tier 9 is over. Like, I was just happy. But, anyway, over time, I learned that I actually do like the Pegasus a lot more. Just for overall travel, it's more useful. I think, in general speed, Unicorn is slightly faster than Pegasus. But overall, like, the fact that you can just dive off mountains and stuff is pretty handy. So, yeah, all I have to say is I really do, and I like the Pegasus. If I were to get another one now, it would probably be Unicorn, mostly just because I could use it for wars and stuff on our guild places in Valencia, which is very rarely, but for those rare times. But other than that, I'd also want to do just to have it. Kill it before I killed you. Oh, dang, dude, we have a lot of constants. So yeah, in the next episode, we'll probably figure out how to do the. Um, they changed it so if you have a lot of. Awaken scrolls like 10 of them you'll get a quest where you can combine them into one 
So I'm not sure how difficult that is. Like, if you're doing 10 awakening bosses at once, I assume you're just going to get clapped if you're not running it in a group. So I'm probably going to figure it out next time. If I have to sacrifice 10 and not be able to beat it, that's fine. Ultimately, it's whatever. But we'll figure it out, and it should be fun. And, yeah. All right, so what are we going to do now? Um... Probably just gonna wrap up the video here just because all I'm gonna do is just go back to Bellia, sort out my inventory, and that's about it. So, with that said, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys later.